Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. Uh, during Chinese New Year, we always have a lot of things in the fridge, especially this one. This is the uh, flower mushrooms, shiitake mushroom, okay, the very big ones. Okay, so I actually soak it under uh, water for one hour to two hours to rehydrate the mushroom nicely. Okay, as you can see from here, it is perfectly rehydrated. It will act like a sponge when you cook the stew later. Very, very flavorful. Okay. And usually the bigger it is, the more expensive it is. And I do not throw away the soaking water. Okay, I can actually use this as part of the broth later. And like I mentioned just now, I already given you the hint. I'm going to make a chicken stew with mushroom. Okay, so here I have approximately three to four hundred grams of chicken here. It is actually uh, one. Uh, one tie and two uh, wings. Yeah, one tie with two wings. So before we cook, you may want to marinate the chicken with a little bit of uh, light soy sauce and some saoxing wine. If you, of course, if you don't take wine, just omit the wine. You don't have to replace it with anything at all. Many people always ask me whether he need to replace the wine with anything or not no need yeah just omit it at all totally omit it okay see you don't almost see any uh, Chinese rice wine everything has been absorbed inside the chicken itself and then we have a uh, few few pieces of uh, ginger here Okay, I've add, I'm a ginger person, you, you always see I put a lot of ginger. Okay, this is quite a lot, you can just use half of it. Uh, this is old ginger by the way. And then um, this, we have some chopped garlic as well. Uh, let's look at the condiment. Uh, I have saoxing wine. Okay, this is prob probably about two big tablespoons of saoxing wine. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. About uh, one to two tablespoon, one and a half tablespoon of light soy sauce. Uh, and of course, you, you will need some uh, salt, sugar, a bit of salt, a bit of sugar, and a bit of uh, white pepper. Okay, we will adjust that towards the end. Now we can start cooking. By the way, if you really uh, notice carefully, this is actually a combination between normal farm chicken and free range chicken. Uh, well, no particular reason. I actually prefer to, to stir fry using normal farm chicken because uh, if you if the moment you use uh, the free range chicken like this, the meat is a bit tough. Uh, as you can see here, it's actually more lean. Yeah, see, this is the farm. Uh, this is the free range chicken, more lean. Uh, the 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 wings is actually the free range chicken. Uh, my wife prefer to use normal farm chicken because it's softer. The meat is much more softer. Okay, so really totally up to you. Okay, there's no rule in Appa kitchen. Okay, if you are using a stainless steel wok like Appa does, then always add oil in cold wok. Then only raise the heat. Okay, by doing this, it will reduce the sticking problem. Well, it will still stick, but it will reduce. Okay. Many people thought my appa's uh, cooking appa's stainless steel wall never stick. Actually, it does. It's just a uh, matter of a uh, matter of uh, a lot or a uh, little. Okay, we want to saute our ginger first. Cut it into thin slices. If you can find uh, bentong ginger, that is very nice, okay? That is very fragrant. How do you recognize bentong ginger? You can see a bit of uh, bluish. Actually, this is not the real bentong ginger. Uh, the real one, you are going to see a little bit of bluish color in the ginger itself. Got 
garlic Mmm, very fragrant Sauteing in for Chinese cuisine, there's actually two purposes The first purpose of course is to uh, make your ginger and garlic more fragrant That's one thing Second thing people doesn't realize Actually, you want to use these two to uh, f make your oil become fragrant Because Chinese actually uh, usually will use the oil to uh, as a medium to season the dish Marinated chicken You can use free range chicken or normal farm chicken you like, okay? Oh, it's already so super fragrant Oops Don't waste my ginger Ow! Hot Okay, I'm going to put in my uh, Oyster sauce Super fragrant, woohoo! I'm going to chalk the wok with some saucing wine. Alright, some light soy sauce. I'm going to put in my shiitake mushroom I'm going to let my shiitake mushroom to really soak out the nice nice flavor from this chicken stew, chicken mushroom stew Actually chicken and mushroom are very good friends You put these two together, it always gives you some very nice flavor, alright? Look at how beautiful this dish is Alright, I'm going to give it the uh, shiitake mushroom water And I'm going to put in some hot water This is a stew dish, okay? So you will have some broth Later this broth will go very nicely with your white rice Use hot water, always try to put in hot water to your stove uh, to your wok, why you ask? Because in Chinese cooking, you don't. We are always want. We don't want to reduce the uh, temperature of your wok. You want it to be very consistent. I'm going to put in one more tablespoon of oyster sauce. So total is probably about two. Okay. All right. Just now one, now another one Tablespoon For the sake of colour, I'm going to put in a little bit of Dark soya sauce Okay Immediately, it will actually turn darker in color Alright Okay, make sure all your ingredient is nicely submerged under the broth So that you can nicely soak out all the juices, especially your chicken and your mushroom Okay It is now boiling I'm going to close this with a lid Tune down to medium high heat To let it simmer for probably about 15 to 20 minutes Okay, actually 10 minutes is already cooked uh, 15 to 20 minutes is just to let the flavor really goes in, okay? 
So you will come back shortly after this. Oh, my whole house is very fragrant with, I can smell the mushroom. This is very good mushroom I bought from one uh, herbal shop near OUG. Okay, la, let me zoom in for you. No, shorty, shorty. Okay, my uh, chicken has been simmering under medium high heat for the past uh, about 15, 18 minutes. Ooh. Let me zoom in for you now. Okay. The broth has reduced, as you can see from here. Okay, it has thickened. Now you can choose to starch this dish. Uh, I won't because I you, you probably the, if this is not the first time you view Appa's video you will know Appa is not a starch person so I will normally avoid starching and I like my dish to be a little bit more watery so that it can go better with my uh, rice okay you feel free to starch this dish okay you can use one teaspoon of cornstarch with uh, four to five teaspoon of water then you can starch this I'm going to do some final seasoning here. Just give it a little bit of salt. A little bit of sugar. Some people ask me again, why is it I put sugar after salt? Because by doing so, the sugar will intensify the penetration power of your salt. And I'm going to put in Add a few dashes of white pepper. Alright. Get the beautiful brownish color. And I can expect my mushroom to be filled with um, very yummy juices from the broth. Yeah. Alright, it's basically done. Let me move it to my uh, Okay, look at this beautiful dish. Uh, uh, I hope you all will like this dish for your, especially to, during your Chinese uh, reunion dinner. So, uh, happy Chinese New Year to you all. If you like my video, do share my video out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa you, uh, cooking, uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Uh, I have Appa has actually collected some of my top and most favorite videos for 2019 to put inside a playlist on, on YouTube channel called uh, in my YouTube channel called Best of 2019. So if you want to go and look for those nice videos that are past favorite, just go and see, okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.